Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be going using a do loop to go through a table. Now this question comes from the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. This is a great uh, a great way to use a do loop. Um, the the subscriber just said, "Hey, how do how do I get it? How do I get this section to look look, look like this over here?" And really what we're doing is if this column is equal to the one above, then you're going to add it together. So for example, all this, we're going to add China, then dash, and then these are just going to be the city names. And then we're going to center them, and it's going to look something like this. So we are going to dig in. Do loops are perfect for um, going through, uh, just looping through tables. It's pretty much when you're going to use them most of the time. I'm going to be doing this from the fly, so this is going to either be, this may be good, it may be bad. We'll see what's going to happen. We're going to do sub do with if. And really what we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you really the simplest way to do a do loop. And this is really where I started. Um, and do loop is, is really common. Uh, it's really a common way to start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with some variables. So we're going to do rw. We're going to do rw equals 11. And all that is is that's going to tell me that I've got a start, I'm going to start in row 11. And then I need a column, and in this case I'm going to be doing column 2, which if you look at cells 11, 2, that's going to get you right there. So down, down 11 rows, over 2 columns, and we need an end row, so we're going to do ERW. And for this case, I'm just going to call this um, 1000, um, and this will make sense as, as we kind of clean this up. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to go do while rw is less than erw. Now we need to put in our loop and we need to do rw equals rw plus one. So this is the essence of really any do loop that you do and all this is is it's going to iter it's going to add one to rw until it gets to a thousand. So if we actually ran this you would do that and you would notice down here it's just adding up like crazy uh, and that will actually go I can run the whole thing it actually doesn't do a darn thing because we haven't told us to do anything yet so now this is where the fun begins so what we need to do is we need to do an if statement and that's going to be if and we're going to start with where our cells are and we're just going to use cells now that means that no matter what the active sheet I'm on it's going to do this code which can get you in trouble. It depends on what you're doing. So if you wanted to make this more strict from a coding standpoint, you would do um, this is sheet one. So I would I would type sheet one dot cells. That would be one way to do it if you wanted more strict code. But we're going to do rw comma cl if it is not equal to cells rw minus one comma cl, then do something. Okay, now I'm going to show you what this does. We're going to hit F8, and that's going to go through a single line of code. We're going to say RW is less than 1,000. That's perfect. So it's going to say, is Brazil, you'll notice this, this is 11. This is 11 minus 1, so that means that it's country. Then we're going to do something. Now, there wasn't anything to do, so it just goes straight to the next line, which is the end if. So now all we have to do is just add in that code. So the code is really simple. We're going to do cells rw comma cl plus 1. And really what that's going to do is instead of taking us to 2, it's going to take us to 3. Now the reason that turned red is because I didn't, I didn't assign it to anything. So now we need to do, do cells rw comma cl. And, and then we're going to do... Oh, I don't know what happened there. CL plus 1 is equal to cells RW comma CL and single quote dash single quote and all this is going to do is it's going to put whatever the country name is and the dash. So RW comma CL plus 1 and this will make sense as we go through it. So 
we actually have, at this point, we have a completed code and actually have solved this problem. And if I go through this code, um, you will see how that did it. Now the first thing I want to do, um, and you will learn this as you start to do loops, um, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have this this section of this section of data somewhere saved because once I start writing over it, it's very easy just to get lost and then you then your um, the code that you've written has changed it. It's different now and now all of a sudden you're like, where did that original set of data go? So I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to paste that data in and then at least I will have it in case I cause cause any problems. Now remember I said I needed to have strict I needed to make sure that I, uh, I use the less strict code and I use cells. So if I actually ran this, it would pull the cells off this sheet, which is not what I want to do, so I need to go back. So let's go ahead and stop this, and we're going to go through step by step. We're going to go through this entire thing. When we're done going through the entire thing, then I'm going to clean it up and basically show you a couple other tricks that I would do if I was to basically finish this piece out. So again, we're start starting here. Um, I'm going to put in cells rw comma cl dot select and the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to just show you what I so that you can visually see what's going on rw minus one dot cl and this is going to allow you to see what's going on So as I go through this, it's going to select that. So I'm looking at Brazil. It's going to say I'm, I'm comparing those two. Now these aren't actually doing anything. This is just a visual represent, representation of what's going on. And I'm actually looking at that cell. So it's going to say, wait a sec, that criteria is true. And we're going to go on to the next one. Now you'll notice that now I'm on row 12. And as I go through here, it's going to make that change. And now it's going to say, it's going to look at that. It's going to say, wait a sec, this is equal, so I don't need to do anything. And that will be identical all the way down for, through the China section. And Cairo is going to be the same. And then India, they're going to add India. And then it's Mumbai and Bengaluru are going to stay the same. And it's going to go all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to hit F5. And my, you'll notice it is running. The reason it's running is because it's got to go all the way down to a thousand, which it did. Um, the reason it went all the way down there from a screen standpoint is I had these selects on. So we're going to get rid of these, and we are actually going to add some cleanup code. Now the other thing that was requested by the subscriber is they wanted to center these cells. So that's really simple. We're going to go cells rw comma cl plus one, and it's going to be horizontal alignment. Equals XL center. Okay, I did that all from memory. Um, it's very possible that's going to break. So the only way to figure that out is to um, just try it. The other thing we're going to add is we don't need to go. We don't need to write a loop that goes all the way down to a thousand. Um, and a lot of times you don't have to do this. And so the easiest way to do to get out of your loop is to exit the loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go else if cells rw comma cl is equal to double quote. The reason that turned red is because I didn't type in then. We're just going to exit the do. And what that does is it's going to come down. It's going to come all the way down to here. And it's going to say, wait a sec, this is blank. It's not supposed to be blank. This criteria is met. I need to just exit the do. So now what we have is we actually have a loop that you will either exit the loop if you get to a thousand, or you will exit the loop if the column that is supposed to be filled is blank. And I think this is really complete. So now all we need to do is we just need to test it. So we're going to grab our data because remember how I said that we, if you change that data, um, you're not starting from the same spot. So that's that's the reason I copied that over. Pretty important stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through this. 
You know what, I'm going to do one other thing here. Um, actually, I have two other pieces. So we're going to go cells RW, comma CL, plus one, dot, interior, dot, color, equals, um, I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to put a comment here. I'm just going to color it so that it makes it easy to see kind of which ones have changed. So if we came in here, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to come in here and show you a quick color trip, a color trick, color color trip. Active cell dot interior dot color. That's that interior color. So just grab that number. Except for the fact that I just deleted it. That's exciting. I'm having issues clicking on things. So we're going to change those colors, which is great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to undo this. Um, the other thing that we need to do at the very end of this is we actually need to get rid of column B. And we'll actually be doing that by either clearing that or deleting it. And we're going to be doing that after the loop. And so I'm just going to go ahead and polish that up here real quick. Columns, CO, columns, two, and we're just going to clear it. And that way I don't have to delete it. If I wanted to delete it, I could. Um, but that is pretty much the exact code that we're going to need. Now, again, if you started on a different row, you're going to change that row. If your column is different, that's going to be different. And if you have more than 1,000 rows, you're going to have to do that as well. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to check that. It's going to say, hey, wait a sec, this is correct. We're going to see if horizontal alignment, uh, horizontal alignment works. Cross your fingers, it actually did. Lo and behold, that's a good thing. And it's going to change the color. And we're going to go down, down the line. You'll notice that every time it changes the uh, changes those colors, it goes on down. So I'm going to go all the way down to the end. And I'm just hitting F8 just so that it goes a single line at a time. Um, you wouldn't have to necessarily do that. But this is, this is kind of the moment of truth coming up here. Not this one, but this next one. So we are on row 36. We are now. We weren't at the time. We're under there. These are not going to match. And those do match. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, and then we're going to go here. We're going to say, hey, wait a sec. Is this equal to blank? It is. Exit do. Now, um, and notice I cleared that. The other thing we'd want to do is we'd want to clear this last one. So the way that you would do that is we're at 30, 37. So you'd want to clear that up by um, deleting this via code, which is really simple. You would just find out what that last one is. This video went a little long. Again, I did a little bit from scratch. This is why it took a little bit longer. But this is exactly what we wanted. Um, actually, I need to add one other thing, which is columns. I can spell two dot auto fit. Got to spell it right, and then it will come on. Oh, huh, you gotta put you gotta do the right column. That's, that's funny. That happens so many times in code where you're you're on the right, <laughs> you're doing the right code, but you're in the wrong section. So all that did is it just did an auto fit where it centered everything. Um, I did notice one thing right here where we're not centering those if we're not on them. So we need to make sure that we do that. So we would put in an else here. Actually, what we would do is we would move the horizontal center outside of our if statement so that it's centered every time. Um, it's interesting as you kind of go through these, you um, this is typical of what happens when you're coding, is you do the whole thing, it looks perfect, you check it, and you're like, whoa, I did miss that. And really, it's an order and sequence. So again, apologize for the super long video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you subscribe to the Everyday VBA VBA channel. And just like this guy did, he uh, hit me up on my channel and said, hey, I've got a question and was able to uh, provide a video for him. I'm sure he'll be able to use these codes. I uh, hope you enjoyed.